definitely not 100%. Yeah, after she hit her approach shot on the last hole, grabbed her left rib cage. She's had some trouble with that area, Morgan, this year. Yeah, she's been out a little bit this year. Up here on earlier, her third shot of the par 5 11th. This was Jessica holding out for Eagle. For the championship and tied with 17-time LPGA winner Lydia Ko. For her birdie at the ninth, out in five under 31, so they have quickly gotten the U.S. Women's Open champion from Pine Needles to get to one under. And you get the feeling that a lot of tool with her second. Green still there, 84 yards. So they're coming out after Inji Chung as we will. Yeah, tough hole location today on the back left. It's on the shorter side of the green there on the left. There's that 496 yardage here. Moved up considerably. Yeah, with the hole location on the right side today, players able to take wow. advantage of it. Wow. What a shot by Yuka. Last year's U.S. Women's Open champion turned 21 years old on Monday. Back in that up. Great chance for her to make another move. And does so. All sorts of options at the 11th today, depending on where the flat. Very similar to the one we saw from Se Young Kim. Let's see if she uses that backstop. She does. Now it just needs to settle right there, and it'll be a very good look at birdie for Minji Lee, the winner of the end or rollout. Look at that, that was read so well. Uh, all parts of her game. Pretty. And she picks it up, second in a row there. Left, as you can see. Now Reed. Let's see if she goes right at it. And she does. Very, very good from Mel Reed. And that has set up a great big to three under. I think it's interesting, Dan, yesterday that this was the only par five that played under par on the whole course. That's so unusual. Par fives are usually it's open only after Julie Inkster's 16 under at Old Waverly back in 99. Yes! Midgie Lee rolling one in, kind of a U.S. Open type of par. Such an interesting hole. Remember Jennifer Chang's drive. So just her second shot looking for an eagle. Almost got it to drop. It'll be at 13. Yeah. Parts of her game that she, I know she spent a lot of time working on. Yeah. A beautiful stroke right there. She has her fans every tournament she goes to, especially the young girls along the way. A shook at the 16th at the par five. Banging it up against the stick. Eighth. Making that look easy. Again, that is the short par four, and that is a technology presented by Rolex. And as we've seen already, flag is accessible today in that bowl at the front of the green and it's another good one I think we might see some birdies how about that the last four holes another solid stroke for Minji Lee and a nice birdie there in the green that Anything over that will funnel down towards that flag. This heading a little bit more left needs a bounce. Oh, well short. I'm not yep. sure if that was a miss hit or a miss club, K. Probably a little of both. Yeah, this would be helpful to jump start her round here with hopes of making the cut. Oh, yeah. 70 and ties being a part of the weekend. Truman Charlie Hull at five over par. So that gets her back to four over, which looks like the cut line. Rodriguez, who is a club pro. Austin won the 2021 LPGA Professionals Championship. And 
that is a really nice tee shot at 10. Four from the deep goal to build on that. Stack house for the par. Part of that NCAA championship team. This is up the tier in the green. The tier goes from front to back right there. And she makes it. So Annie gets back to 12 over. Not going to be 30. Winner of the Chevron Championship last year. Really put together an amazing week. And we saw how much power she has in her golf swing. Third shot on the way for Lydia Ko at the par 5, 16th. Currently the tie for third. Does such a good job of he keeping her head and body still. And it usually results in a good putt. She, she didn't, didn't look like she so liked happy. that at all. <laughs> Maybe she, she still doesn't believe she's the number one. Similar spot. We just saw from Se Young Kim. You gotta be careful to avoid divots in that 17th fairway, Tom. Yeah, it's oh, oh, gotta be careful to avoid the flag. Wow, that's a bad break. That's a bad break right there. We were talking earlier how it Lindbergh for Birdie needs to start making a move, you would think. And that's a start. Lindbergh from long range to get it back to plus five. Shot for Jennifer Chang at this par five. Chang currently at four under, four back, and rolling it up to the top in two, so it'll be an eagle look for Chang in just a few. Angel Yen, just enough pace to get in. See if she can control her spin a little bit better here with the wedge. Ah, lovely. And we'll give her that. As much as she thought. She's turning, but she read it well. So back to one over, one under for the day. And there you go, bending down to get the ball out of the hole. A little bit unconventional. It's been a tough. To get it really close enough for a birdie Ooh, effort. Oh, that wow, that, that just grabbed. The and that's got to get down. There is a penalty area short, but I, it was dry uh, earlier this yeah. week. So land short, maybe try and run it back there a bit. Needs to stop. Oh, oh she got some spin. Yeah, yeah. What a shot. Yeah. Chance to save. Yeah. Looked like a four all the way. I feel like we saw that. Yeah, probably needs to aim a little right of it with her spin. Oh, this is going to spin. And it could go in. Yes, it does. What a shot from Lexi. And that moves her to four under par, six under for the day. And Lexi Thompson playing her way into contention. <laughs> it is all smiles at 17. Taking a lob wedge, it'll sh come in lower. If anybody knows how to hit this shot, it's Lydia Cole with her tremendous wedge. Birdie attempt at 18 for Jessica Corda. Again, playing injured, although she has loosened up a little bit since we saw her double over at the 12th. And Jessica Corda. Third one of the day, Dan. Station yesterday for her spectacular round, but it's a pretty impressive round that Pornanong put together as well. Neither of them particularly long hitters on what you could argue is one of the tie for second with Ko. Down. Down. My catch is slow. There's a little bit of a low. All that's left for Lauren Coughlin for Eagle at 11. That is a. And Ko stays in that tie for second. With a gutsy par at the last. Alongside MB Park and Brooke Henderson. Starting at the 10th. My sister has just finished over there at the 18th. Oh, how oh, Wow. What a way to start. And then Gordon will have a tap in birdie. And Nelly starts with a birdie here in the second round of the KBMG Women's PGA Championship. 
pole location, a little bit of a bowl. We've seen some really incredible shots so far today. Oh, this is a low bullet. May have some hit and release. It does. Hops up I need and to stop. plenty. But we've seen plenty of two putt birdies from that far away from you know, being in some real trouble there towards the back of that bucket. Flew all the way to the back, but maybe an easier bunker shot from that part of the sand on 10. Time and time again. Mel reads over at 16 for birdie. Man, is that a thing of beauty? Anderson with a nice start, good save at the one over par, which is uh, pretty good going after yesterday's tough opening round. See how aggressive she is with this one. Oh, very aggressive, right at the flags. I tell you what, that wasn't far away from dropping right in. You don't normally see them drop right down into the hole. Let's take another look. Yeah, it almost dropped right down in. A little bit of a downhill lie. Going with a full nine iron. Has a really good line to it. Woo. At the 17th coming towards the end of her round. It's battled back after a bogey at 10, made eagle at 11, birdie 12, birdie 16, and that's gonna give her a good look at birdie. Uh, just like a little bit short on the backstroke, Kay. Didn't quite give it enough time and a little bit of a pull. Yeah, that's, that's disappointing. She's looking at- A lot of history was matched yesterday by NG Chung. Two of those three went on to win. Up the right side, turning over right down the middle. Just a beautiful tee shot. After sleeping all night, spending nearly the entire day yesterday in the lead of this change. This was, this was the side of a lone bogey yesterday, John. This is on a really good line, just right of the flag stick. Doesn't look like it's going to be a bogey here today. Looks like more of what we saw yesterday, just very much in control. Just 25 putts yesterday for... Just trying to play a little bit of a fade. She kind of started to play a fade a little bit last year. I think that's really helped her ball striking, being able to work the ball both. Three or four over, tough to say what it's going to be. 13. Nelly Corda with a seven iron. Beautiful golf swing right there from Nelly. I just, I could watch, you can watch that on repeat, man. Just, oh. She hit a four hybrid here yesterday, going with five iron today. As this hole is about 20 yards shorter than yesterday. Yeah, I just totally missed that mm. one. Wow. Doesn't usually miss it that badly. Played it quite high enough. Last week's winner, Jennifer Cupcho, for birdie at the 12th. Go with a one under round of 71. Yesterday, and that one falls at the 11th for birdie. Number one player in the world. Just think sooner or later she's going to make her presence. Of course, check it out in advance because it makes the week a little bit easier as well. 14. Brooks second. Flirting with that bunker, but now it's just. Big pot right here. Let's see if she can get it in. Yes. It's Brooke to three under. Her there in B Park. But, uh, that one getting the better of her. Let's go to the tenth. And the U.S. Solheim Cup captain Stacy Lewis getting her round underway. And not happy with that, but it's going to be just fine. It might just go in. It's going to be a tap in birdie for Stacy, and she will get it to three over par. Now Inji on the second. Nine wood, had seven wood yesterday. This again on a perfect line, just right of the flag. Yeah, needs to climb on a little bit more. It's going to be good there. Very good. I mean, that is just what we talked about, Tom, with her setup is a little bit more approachable. To two. Ji Chan for a birdie. And it is her first birdie of the day. So if there was any question of the year on the LPGA Tour and has had to go back to the qualifying tournament each year, and if that just stays up on the top of the hill, it's right on the edge. Yeah. No, it doesn't like it. Up the hill there and just didn't give it enough pace. 
It's going to be a big weekend for Jennifer Chang if she can get it into the... A little bit right of that one. Yeah, this is a long hole that forces you to really take on those bunkers. Another beauty right up the middle. Playing is the third hardest hole out here today. I know we talk about the length of the court. Looking for birdie. Again, low 70s and ties make the cut. Doe wanting to be a part of the weekend of this big championship. This huge purse. Not Just to get it to four under par, she was saying before the tournament began that her confidence is high right now. It should be coming off that victory last week and the win at... Very low. It's going to need to run up there. She cut that a little heavy. Yeah, she looked like she got stuck on her back foot a little bit there. Club in her bag to help her around this golf course. So high. Just a hair right of the flag stick. You just can't do that with a four iron line it back there and stop it. No way. Prepared for the nine and the seven wood. Blind shot again second. The yeah, approach. aiming at that pole which is a good line, maybe even a little left of it. That came in low with a five iron. They're right on the line for Henderson. And that's actually the better. We've seen a lot of people just short of the screen, but she's... Also from just behind the green in B Park. Oh, beautiful touches. Whoa! And the champion, Rodney Dose, and in for the three-time champ. That's about as much too high or too low, and I think that's one of the reasons why she's just been. Nelly Corda trying to do the same thing here at the 15th with her third. In the hole, go. Well done. Be no problem saving par from there. And that has just been in repeat mode. Tee it, hit it, pick it up. I mean. High. This one hit a bit left of the flag stick. Yeah, she's really off. She's, yeah, that's, that's uh, off. so far today. <laughs> Another one. I mean, and there's hardly any curve to her golf ball either. On any of the shots we've seen her hit, off the tee, the fairway woods into the green. It's not. And like I said, right at it. <laughs> How big a star is Chung in South Korea? Quick one down the hill here. Wow! I mean, when is this going to stop? I mean, NG did tell JT. Watch till Sunday. He, yes, she started the day at one under par, and that gets her back. A little bubble and play your own game. 14. Lizette Salas for a birdie fighting towards the cut line, which. Yong Chang. Hannah Green has champion at Hazeltine with a birdie that drops at the 15th. And Hannah Green moves into a tie, which is good if it bounces down to the putting surface, but not when you're trying to play it from up there. And look at the shot Nelly played. That was bold. Tom, how does she leave that shot? You can see that left hole location, blind shot. Nearly off the green to the left, only five paces left. Oh, she's found it. Nato. Wow, beautiful shot. Nearly another hole. Which off her tee shot, I think she'll be happy with a par. Yeah, 